Module 4, Lesson 13, we're going to look at writing division expressions in different forms. So in example 1, we're asked to write an expression showing 1 divided by 2 without the use of the division symbol. Let's start by looking at a model of 1 divided by 2. So here's our 1, we divided it into 2, and we see that we have one-half. We can determine that one divided by two is the same as one-half, writing as a fraction. So we'll try it one more time. We're going to write the expression a divided by two without the use of the division symbol. So we'll draw a model. Our model is a, and we'll divide it in two. And so in our model, we see then that what we have is a, over 2. a, that's what we started with, divided by 2. And to complete the sentence, when we write division expressions using the division symbol, we represent the dividend divided by the divisor and if we were to do to write this using a fraction it would be dividend divided by divisor. Now we'll do some practice. If we were going to write a divided by b without the use of the symbol, division symbol, we're going to write a fraction, a over b. Then if we write an expression for g divided by the quantity h plus 3, we have the fraction g over h plus 3. Let me fix that. And then if we write an expression for the quotient of the quantity, quotient meaning division, of the quantity m reduced by 3 and 5. Now please notice the wording. It's the quotient of the quantity m reduced by 3. This is all one phrase. We know that because then it's followed by the word and. And and tells us what the other number is in our problem. So in our numerator we're going to have to have m reduced by 3, which is m minus 3. And in our denominator, we'll have 5. Now, in our exercises, they're asking us to write each expression two ways, using the division symbol and as a fraction. So the challenge, obviously, is going to be making sure we keep everything in the right order. And we can see 12 divided by 4 with a division symbol and 12 over 4 as a fraction. Now we'll do the same thing for each one. And so we can see the two different ways that we write each of the expressions. 3 divided by 5, a divided by 4, the quotient of 6 and m, 7 divided by the quantity x plus y, y divided by the quantity x minus 11, the sum of the quantity h and 3 divided by 4, and the quotient of the quantity k minus 10 and m.
And please notice that the word and is the determining factor when you write these expressions from the words. Please look carefully at the wording and find the word and and then determine your quantities based on where the word and is in your expression.